There's a lot of things that you can do with a thousand dollars. You could use it to buy a hundred and sixty seven Zins. You could use it to buy a gold wrap steak from a five star restaurant in Miami, or you could use it to follow the steps in the video and turn that thousand dollars into over a hundred thousand dollars of annual recurring revenue. I'm Dylan and as of the recording of this video, I've built five agencies, two to 25K, one to 36K, and my two active and current ones, one sitting at about 150K a month and the other one around 80. And since 2019, I've made well over a million dollars online. But when I first started, I only had the thousand dollars I made as a freelance video editor by working online. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I would do if I only had a thousand dollars to my name and I needed to scale to six figures like my life depended on it. So before we get in, I'm gonna let you guys know that this video is gonna be broken down into two parts because it doesn't make sense to put all your eggs into one basket and invest $1,000 into one magic thing. There is no silver bullet. There is no magic formula. There is no get rich quick scheme with your agency. So we're gonna diversify where we are putting our money to give us the highest chance of success with our $1,000. So in order to make over $100,000 a year, we technically don't need service delivery. We technically don't need team. We technically don't need anything except clients that will pay us money. Now, obviously this isn't what you wanna be doing, but I'm just stressing the importance of in order for anything to happen, the first thing that we need to invest into is investing into systems in order to get clients. And with this, there's four different ways that we could potentially get clients for our agency. Number one is paid ads. Number two is organic content. Number three is affiliate slash partnerships. And number four is outbound outreach. So let's break down each of these four acquisition methods so we can decide what the best one is to be investing our money into. So starting off with paid ads. Now paid ads is probably the best acquisition method to take your agency not to $100,000 a year, but to $100,000 a month. However, if you're looking to use paid ads for client acquisition, you're going to need more than just $1,000 in order to make it happen. See, the reason why is because when you set up paid ads, you're gonna be targeting entire countries, perhaps entire regions with hundreds of millions, if not at least a million people. And in order to create high converting ad campaigns, what's gonna to have to happen is over time, you're gonna to have to optimize them, you're gonna to have to split test, and you're gonna to have to rely on Facebook, Google, or TikTok's optimization methods so you can find the right people to target, which is it at that point when the paid ads begin to work. But the problem is, is it is damn near impossible to get to that point while only investing a few hundred up to a thousand dollars into paid ads. Although paid ads is an amazing way to scale an agency, it's probably not the best route if we only have a thousand dollars. Now, the second method is organic content. Now with organic content, you're able to create a brand for yourself that will make you a ton of money. The only problem with it is it is a long game. It's something that happens over time. I've been posting content on social media here for the last five years. And just recently in the last 12 months, I've been able to reap the fruits from my own personal brand. Although organic content is an amazing way to scale an agency, in this situation where we have one year and our life depends on it, it's not the play. The third option is affiliates slash partnerships and similar to organic content. It's an amazing way to make a shit ton of money through agencies, especially when you have the right partners or affiliates that you're working with. But the problem is, is also similar to organic content. It takes months, it perhaps even years to be able to nurture those relationships and to be able to build those affiliate programs. So therefore, given our life is depending on this, it's not the play. Which leaves us with the fourth and final one, cold, outbound. Now, although cold outbound can get to a point where scalability begins to be tapped, that does not occur until you're well over a hundred thousand dollars a month with your agency. Heck, I have even friends who were running 250 to $300,000 a month agencies and their sole method of client acquisition is through cold outbound. And in addition to that, another pro to cold outbound is how cost effective it is. You can simply invest three, four, five hundred dollars into cold outbound and be able to contact tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people through your campaign efforts. And so that is why without a doubt, if I only had a thousand dollars to invest into my agency and I had to get it to a hundred grand a year, like my life depended on it, I would 100% go with cold outbound. Now there are three types of cold outbound that is commonly used in today's world of growing agencies. Cold calling, cold emailing, 
and cold DM. So what I'm gonna do for you guys now is break down each one of those three different things, the cost associated, and what I would invest in particular into each one of those acquisition channels. So the first one is cold email, which is great if you need to speak directly to the decision makers and it's hard to get their phone number. In addition to that, cold email is one of the more easier ones to scale because it's less human dependent. You don't need to hire more cold callers to get more contacts out and you don't need to rely on VAs DMing on multiple Instagram or Facebook accounts. That being said, the budget allocation that I would use to cold email would be approximately 99 bucks a month to set up a proper cold email sending platform, invest about three to $400 into buying your domains and setting up your email accounts, and then budget for around 50 to $100 in hiring VAs or leveraging softwares to build the list of people that you are going to cold email. Now, let's say you're in a niche where cold email doesn't really work and maybe it's a niche where people are very active on their phones, such as real estate, mortgage brokers, et cetera, et cetera. In this case, you might wanna look into going with cold calling. And cold calling is probably actually the cheapest form of cold outreach. You can keep things very simple and very lean. And if I was going to do this with only a thousand dollars to my name, I would look to invest approximately a hundred to maybe 200 bucks a month in a cold calling software so I can get through a lot of leads quickly and use predictive and power dialers. And in addition to that, another 50 to a hundred dollars in hiring a VA and or using softwares to scrape leads for me to call. And the last one is cold DMs. Now, although this one is the hardest to scale and is the most reliant on other people because you're probably not gonna be doing the cold DMs yourself, it is a great entry level form of outreach and is very effective for less sophisticated niches such as gyms, car detailers, and similar niches. And the budget allocation I would use for this is spend about $100 buying Instagram accounts, buying aged Instagram accounts that are less likely to get blocked or go to spam, then spending approximately two to $300 a month to have a VA set up and manage and actually do the outreach for you and then only sending you the interested and engaged leads. So depending on the niche that I'm in or depending on the agency that I'm running, those are one of the three methods that I would take. Now, if you want a little bit more information on how to actually set up a cold calling, a cold emailing, or a cold DMing campaign, check out my channel. I got tons of videos on all three of those different outreach platforms and how we're using them in our current agencies to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month. All right, so in order to set up these cold outbound campaigns, depending on the route that you took, it's probably gonna cost you anywhere between three and $500. But to make things easier, for example, sake of this video and to err on the side of caution, let's say it did take you $500. Now, where do we invest? the remaining $500 because we have to get to $100,000 per year like our life depends on it. Well, the biggest cost that we all have in life and as entrepreneurs is the cost of not knowing what we don't know. See, every single year you don't make a million dollars, it costs you one million minus how much money you did make by not knowing how to make a million dollars. And that right there is a mental frame that I've been using for the last two or three years that has helped me take the right actions to pay down that ignorance debt, to understand what I need to do in order to learn how to make a million dollars, which has gotten me to the point where I am today. Because simply put it, the difference between me, who's able to generate multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month, and you, is that I know shit that you don't. So because of this situation, you have two real options. You can do what I regretfully did, which was save all my money and try and figure it out on my own and have it take six years to get to where I am today. Or option B is to go to somebody who already knows how to do what you're trying to do and just pay them to teach you. Now let's break down the risks of these two options. So option A comes with the risk of never actually learning what you're trying to learn, never actually being able to achieve what you've set out to achieve. But let's say for example's sake, you do learn how to get to say $20,000 a month, but it took you 12 months of grinding on your own. Now, alternatively, you could find somebody who already knows what they're doing. They're verified, they're trusted, they got good content, they got good reviews, and they have a bunch of case studies, and you could pay them to show you how to do that in a month. Now, although a lot of people look at that risk of paying somebody up front, what they don't see is if you don't do that, and you try and figure it out on your own in 12 months, as opposed to learning how to get to 20K a month by paying somebody in one month, it's costing you 11 times $20,000, which is $220,000 of income 
income that you're not going to ever get the opportunity to make again, which is why I would use the remaining $500 or whatever the remaining balance I have in my bank account as a beginner, so long as my basic needs are covered to invest into other people who already know what they're doing so they can just teach me in a short period of time so I don't have to waste all this unearned income by trying to figure it out on my own. And if you're not also willing to make that investment too, you probably shouldn't be in business. With that, that is exactly what I would do to turn $1,000 into over $100,000 a year of annual occurring revenue like my life depended on it. Now, if you wanna partner with me and my team in order to get to $25,000 a month in the next 90 days, click the link below and you can apply there and potentially get the opportunity to have an interview with us. Other than that, I appreciate you as always for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I hope you got 10x the value in return and I'll see you in the next one.